it's look, not. Coming up inside, I look out and I like thought you had the dually wheels on, and now you have my wheels on. Gosh. gonna believe it transmission started working properly again so we do actually have reverse welcome back to the channel so we've got a couple of things we're gonna do today one of those is gonna be putting my wife's 24 by 14s on this Jeep and the other thing is going to be probably irritating her to the highest extent you've probably ever seen on this channel. Wish me luck. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I have the five by four and a half to eight on six five adapters. These wheels are eight on six fives, but they're 35 by 1450s or 1550s. They're freaking huge. They're off of her truck right now because her truck doesn't ride very well with these. The dually wheels and tires are cool. And I told you guys that if the previous video got to 2000 likes that we would take this thing mudding with the eight by eight setup on it. However, at the time I'm filming this one, that video hasn't gone up yet. So I don't know what the like turnout was gonna be on that. So Regardless though, it's easy to swap wheels back and forth. So let's get these wheels put on here first. Let's get these put on there and uh, she might catch me in the act and come out here, but hopefully we can get these on before she calls me or texts me or comes out here yelling at me. <laughs> so let's get these wheels put on this thing and see how it looks. It's gonna be pretty crazy, I think. But here is the current setup. Cat on the hood, dualies in the front dualies in the rear thing is a monster and it's actually super functional like it actually turns not completely because uh, you can see how it, it uh, when you lock it it does pinch on that fender it bent up this plastic part and that little piece of steel down there on that front fender let's get going let's get to it So we're running into some slight complications with this project. I haven't taken a single lug nut off of this wheel yet. Watch this. Okay, let me make sure you can see the whole thing. I don't think that's supposed to have that much play in it. Well, everybody, we got the wheels and tires on this thing. The Jeep's not completely hidden from the house, but it's mostly hidden from the house. I'm gonna see if I can take it for a little test drive, and then uh, if she doesn't see me, call her out here. Let's see how this goes. That big clunking sound that was in the back that actually ended up being the, oh no, no big deal. The lug nuts on the very, very, very last spacer that are holding on the very first adapter, the five by four and a half to eight on six five adapter, the lug nuts holding it to the actual hub of the axle were actually just coming a little bit loose and it was giving that play in the wheel. Tighten them back up and uh, stacked all the spacers back on one by one. I don't know how much clearance we're gonna get when we turn the wheel. It actually looks pretty decent on this side, but this axle is actually pushed over towards the driver's side a little bit. Uh, not actually, not just a little bit, about two full inches. You can see how it's like halfway sticking out here. And then on this side, only one section of the tread is under the fender and the other three portions of the tread are sticking out. Doesn't fit perfect, but you know, it was 600 bucks. What do you expect? It is dumping snow, so I do apologize. If water gets on the lens at times, reverse still works. Okay, we're rolling. We're rolling. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Can I make it into the pasture? This is so freaking crazy. I feel like I'm gonna break something so fast. Oh my. This is gonna be 
gonna be such a pain in the butt to turn around. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try to back it up. Now, Reagan is usually pretty forgiving, but if I chop these tires up, it's not gonna go well for me. There's no way she can't see me. I'm like, I'm like way out in the open now. Okay, she's out. Right. right there. She's coming over. <laughs> it turns just enough if you need to get yourself maneuvered around. Like you got a couple inches side to side. But it's not a it's not a whole lot. Really? Well you don't think it's cool? I can hear them rubbing. It's I not out, like I'm inside I look out and I like thought you had the dually wheels on and now you have my wheels on. What the heck? You know I took them off because I didn't want them in the snow and the salt and now you're out here with this piece of trash with them on. This is my only nice wheels! Okay, this is a little uncalled for though, don't you think? I mean, this is how I like... Babe! I gotta make videos. Did you look at the rear end? No, what's wrong with it? There's like half an inch, maybe less, of room. It's not that bad. What happens if you gash you a freaking tire? It's not gonna... Okay, it could cut the tires. I, I doubt it will though, I'm being very careful. Yeah, I'm <laughs> with all these sharp edges. You're not that sharp. <laughs> You're trying to act like you don't like this. It's okay, you can just admit that it's a freaking good idea. Hey, it's freaking touching. It's hardly touching. Hey, step out of the vehicle. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it neutral. Now, I want you to sit here, and when I sit in it, I want you to watch it. It does not touch. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no way. I got a wing. Be easy with my Jeep now. It's touching, isn't it? It's not touching. Babe? Okay, it's touching. It's touching. It was touching up here when you sat down. What are you saying? Um, you're going to take out the freaking fender and then ruin my tire? So you're worried about your tires? What about my Jeep? Like, like seriously. I'm being pretty selfish it's right now. It's $600 <laughs> Jeep? Do you know how much I got that freaking tire. The Archon Off-Road Specials. Proper Directionals. I think that's what, what they're called. They're the, they're the proper directionals. In all honesty, like without you like being mean, you have to admit this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel the Jeep was lifted more. So you're on board with this? Yeah. You hear that? She said we can do it. No. You also didn't ask me. <laughs> What's mine is yours, right, baby? That's what that ring means, baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. It, okay. It's close. I can see how somebody could be concerned. But it's not that bad. Not, you can't drive with this. Yes, I can. It it's literally rubs. so cool. It's literally it squeaks cool. when you okay, drive. It's, okay, you know why it squeaks? It's because it hardly touches. Yes. Hardly touches. You think that's good? It's great. I don't see any issues with it. It's not gonna hurt it. Like it's okay. Now that you're done being mean to me, let's get, get in, let's go for a ride. Hey, <laughs> go for a ride. If you're not gonna get in, at least film me and Vinkle drive it around. Vinkle agrees. No, Vinkle, he's, he's coming with me. He was in the barn. He's, he is going with me and we are going for a drive and you cannot stop us. Isn't that right, Vinkle? What do you think? I think she's overreacting just a little bit. They're just tires. You know, that's the only thing that can damage. No, but seriously, can you at least film me if you're gonna be out here? Sure, baby, it rubs. No, but on another note, um, this cat look at this jacket. Do you wanna make a plug right now? It's kinda covered in snow. That's the whole point of them, snow jackets. Diesel Babe Apparel, available at lmpgear.com. Diesel Babe work coats, Diesel Babe, beanie. Diesel Babe beanies, also available at lmpgear.com. Diesel Babe tab is on the website. And also you've got LMP heavy duty work coats. These things are freaking, what are you doing? Anyways, we've got heavy duty LMP work coats. These things are freaking sweet. They're lined with super, super soft material. They're heavy duty. These are like the closest thing to a Carhartt that we can get for you guys. So if you 
really like heavy duty work coats, maybe you wanna grab like a bunch of them. Stuff is shipping frequently, very fast. What, how long did it take for us to get our coats? Not even a week, actually. Yeah, hard. Like six days? Yeah, like six, seven days usually. That's not like, that's not for every single order, but most orders are The more like quick. high quality stuff, shirts I guess, are the ones that obviously take the longest just because yeah. they take a little bit of time to get in. Anyways, film me. You're gonna buy me new tires. I'm not buying you new tires. Or wheels. I already bought these tires. Don't be a hater. Take this camera and film me because this is so dope. I'm sure you do. You don't hear them squeaking? How long until we break the hub bolt? You wanna drive it? No. It's super functional. I'm sure. Is it just me or does that look like it's bending out? <laughs> and our neighbors hate us. Gosh. Damage my fender? Are you kidding me, bro? Those fenders are hard to come by, original. It doesn't do it anymore. I'm glad you bent it out of the way. I really could care less about the Jeep. Like, obviously, I cut the fenders up. She was a little upset at first, but uh, I think she's starting to see it my way. What's your honest opinion? Are you really mad? No, but. Smells like <laughs> smells like America, doesn't it? No. <laughs> They're coming off. Like look, Ginkles are you climbing like up. Like in the spring. Should I take them off in the spring? Like tonight. We can drive with these. It doesn't matter. It's cool looking. Listen, Please, I will take them off because I promised people that I would take the super dualies mudding. So I told them I would do that. So these have to come off anyways. These are gonna have to come off anyways. I already knew that. That's why I did this video today. I'm like, well, if I at least do it right now, at least I'll make myself take them off the next day because I'm gonna be doing that other video. So we'll see. Thanks for letting me use your wheels. Thanks for asking. <laughs> No problem, babe. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Reagan, thank you for letting me borrow your wheels for the day. Anyways, guys, if you have not done so yet, enter to win our 2001 24 valve Cummins plus $5,000 cash. Quick rundown on the truck. It's a 55 block, not a 53. 130,000 miles, beautiful leather interior, no rips, beautiful dash, no cracks, four wheel drive. It's an awesome truck. And if you wanna enter to win that truck, all you have to do is go to lmpgear.com place an order, buying anything off the site, like one of these super dope coats, one of our new beanies, one of her new coats, shirts, anything off the store. It doesn't have to be any specific product. As soon as you check out, that is how you're automatically entered because your email, name, and phone number used as soon as you make your purchase, that is what is entered into the drawing towards winning the truck plus $5,000 cash. And that giveaway ends on February 15th, which if you look at your calendars, I'm pretty sure that's in three days. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the love. Thank you so much for all the support. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. You wanna drive it? No. It's super functional. I'm sure.